Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the beloved blind run of legendary difficulty. Time for an attack on a Pandoran Citadel. We need to uh, locate a Skrilla and then kill it and evacuate our squad and all of that before we're being overrun. <coughs> but we got the right uh, people for the job. Got the prime team with a prime attitude. So, Euler here. I'm wondering if we want to get a bit quicker or if we just need more willpower at this point. I think a bit more willpower is the way to go. Good, JP Pauly. We got Phoenix points and JP Pauly. Um, my sense is good within 15 tiles that is not bad let's just double check inappropriate Murphy can have the exact same let's give it to Murphy he's typically a little bit further at the front also I want to uh, him to level up further. Shattered Realm, I want to save for more speed. My biggest concern here is not reaching the enemy in time. Spider Drone Pack was not bad, I must say. So I'm wondering if that is really worth it. Sneak attack on the other side isn't bad either. Um, willpower in itself isn't bad. Are we going to work with uh, spider drones a lot? I think what I like about spider drones is uh, they definitely take uh, in the aggro of the enemy. You can spider drone and you can at the same time, by the way, also onslaught. So. Hmm. I tell you what, I think we're going to try that. Give me just a second. Good, back to Dranks. I just freed up uh, the spider drone. I'm really not using the shotgun a lot. Almost not at all, to be precise. I would say he, he has literally a lot of good items specifically the repair kits aren't bad uh, does anyone else have repair kits I wonder well for him it would make sense we do have two characters that can repair uh, destroyed uh, destroyed uh, armor but it's fine I we can have it on him the triplet spiders are actually quite uh, quite effective in a way that you're putting bodies on the uh, on the ground the decoy isn't bad either but I started to appreciate that a little bit more just wondering if we have enough ammunition good Ian the Butcher owns just a fantastic all-around character this guy is just absolutely mad uh, more willpower would be not bad but more speed also wouldn't be bad uh, so we're, we're waiting for that Dilly could get up uh, willpower further just for more damage could get up speed a little bit not a bad idea either I think for now it's all about willpower and use getting those extra abilities going I love it that he can use almost all of the guns and is super comfortable with doing so what I don't like is the lack of ammunition that he can carry maybe <clears throat> one more strength Oh, 
Okay, for her, Boom Blast not needed. I think it's still willpower because that's the weakest stat at the moment. Okay, overall fine. <clears throat> the team is ready. Time to deploy and get this party started. Okay, we landed. Yeah, that's the typical map <coughs> where we come onto both of these exits. Skrilla is over here. Yeah, not sure which way we want to go yet, but we'll figure that out. Let's start by frenzying everyone. Polly moves up. And spots out our arc nemesis. That's a melee Skrilla with a normal with a normal birthing tools. Getting a turret going for good measure. Dilly moves into good position and we're spotting more enemies. Not really surprising, right? Did we hit them? Yeah, we uh, hit them very nice, uh, very nicely and also damage the gun. Ian the Butcher Owens begins to move up to this point. You can jump in from here and take kills next turn. Good, moving up. We're just overwatching. Not no really clear line of sight. Drangs moves up a little bit and then I want to test our triplet drone pack. Very well. Moves up. Reloads for free. Grell moves up as well. The appropriate Murphy kind of holds the back line here. And Shattered Realm, what are we going to do with you? You have enough will points to sprint. And you can be a frontliner as well. Cool, good, end of turn. The Prime Team is so much fun to play with. It fulfills a bit of a power fantasy. It feels that the operatives there are definitely in control. For some of the other teams it often feels more like needing to take a cheap shot or abusing kind of war scream 
Not that we wouldn't have used that here as well, we are definitely doing that, but my point is with the others it, it more feels like we, we have to resort to these measures to even stand a chance. Here it's a bit different. Well, beautiful. Thank you for these worms. One. Two. Um. Yeah, that one is a bit of a stinker. Trying to remove terrain. Polly takes over one of the worms. Mark my word, this poison worm will be a great catch for us. Okay, it still has its stupid launcher, but we will find a way to deal with that. Moving over here, we're the only thing in range of this guy. bit of armor reduction nothing major at the moment we're just like it's the early standoff between us and the Skrilla dashing over here Spider drone pack goes to here. Free reload not happening because we're out of ammunition. But we can move over there. Cool. Good turn. can't yet get in range <clears throat> we need to shred his armor and that's the biggest concern that I'm currently having maybe Grell can help with it to here can we see someone oh yeah that oh yeah that would be a good shot armor penetration and we very much hit the spawnery with the armor penetration it's not bad it's actually the position which is easiest to follow up on of course only if you really hit it a few more shots like i said we're removing armor at this point
Go taking it slow. Euler doesn't have a great line of sight in this direction, but we can help him with the other side. Polly equally overwatches, and I think we're good. Oh, he good. Well, that's cool to know. Good to know. Wasn't having that on my radar. Certainly don't want uh, Goo to hit us. No, he triplet killed the spider. Is not good. That's a bit of the disadvantage if if someone with a rocket launcher is near. Did he kill them? Potentially. Poison worm moves up. All of our spiders are dead, which sucks. It sucks big, uh, big times, but equally, that's what they were here for. Okay, so far that worked out well. One down. Hit. More hits. Wow, he's quite accurate. And that worked out relatively well. Good job. Inappropriate Murphy. A surprisingly good job. Good, we're down to... yeah, that guy is dead. Just ignore him for now. Moves to here. Gets a nice little bonus kill. And we can mark the Skrilla for dead. here into safety starting with the spawning abdomen I uh, should have marked him for dead first capture him but still it's good 
good to deal as much damage as we can. 320. Move up, big gun. Ranks continues to feed uh, points over. And we're getting back into cover. Uh, tell you what. It's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Adrenaline rush. That is pretty bad, but we do have that. And we're looking at almost 700 points of damage. So all things considered, that was a successful turn. Can't war scream, that would be a great ability for Jarangs to get on top of everything. All right, the Skriller just tries to move into our direction. I think, by the way, that was a massive blunder of his. <clears throat> Exposing himself so much. that shit here. <laughs> Inappropriate Murphy moves over. Triggered. Poison Worm did his thing. Rapid clearance here. Oh. 
A couple of uh, things. Uh, how do I play that? Moves to here. Oh, that would not kill the torso, uh, the egg. Interesting. shot. Now rapid clearance starts to happen. Which is where he gets some action points back. Free reload. Gets his action points back. Gets his action points back. Billy aggressively moves up. And destroys the spawn read. Okay, so far that worked out just like a charm. need to move all the way around well we could jump over I wonder uh, we got enough to pull this off let's start it's time to just waltz our way through this Careful move. Jump. Another jump. And now it's time to clean the house. He has been prepared so well. some more damage and we're handing over more actions oh 
Ruela moves over, but I uh, just cannot hand over more actions. Barely too little movement. Yeah, we're mind controlling this guy. Butcher has butchered everything. Good. I, I mean, that was a really solid turn. There are still a few enemies left over, but we should be able to run out of here in just no time. Okay. Giving Murphy some frenzy as well. That's a great thing about having double frenzy, right? And with the necessary speed from everyone, we are very much good, good to go. runs up Oila begins to move up I mean we're going to leave here next turn and it was a really clean mission Prime team uses quite a bit of resources, but you can't argue with the results. This is just fantastic. <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to poison that turret. Good, let's move out, not going to flee yet. Drinks can hand over actions.
couple of mutagens if we're capturing this guy. Dilly can already leave. Polly. Can leave, uh, Grell can leave as well. Good, Murphy runs up all the way and I figured he might not be able to make it, but that's what, what friends are for. There you go, Onslaught Buddy. And it was as clean of a mission as it can be. I think even the turret that we left behind will be with us. So yeah, we evacuated everyone and the turret hopefully is evacuated as well. We got uh, one captive. I mean, we could have theoretically like captured more. I guess, yes, we could. Just getting more mutagens. You've always stood by our side, even when things got difficult. You fought for us. Our war for humanity oh, nice. is not yet over, and difficult battles still lie ahead. Oh, nice. So please, accept this gift. It will make you stronger. I thought this alliance would be useful, but I didn't realize that the Phoenix Project would have a better grasp of my philosophy than many people in my own organization. But talk is cheap. Please accept this gift what? as a more material sign of my What? Okay. We are rich. We just received like a lot. Okay, we're now allied a hundred percent. Maybe that is the bonus that you're getting when you're really allied with uh, someone. That is awesome. Okay, so what are we going uh, going to do with those resources? I can tell you. We're blocking a few by putting the, the tier map finally in queue. And I think we, o we are opening a base. Wh which one would be of most value at the moment? This one here would have an overlap with two. Up here we don't have anything yet. This here would get us down there. I think we're going to take Europe. I mean, of course, we could also get Phoenix Omega here. But I think Europe is the key for now, activating it. Good, into the bases. This is not the Symes Memorial base, this is Europe. Fabrication plan. Yep, we can keep that. Energy regenerator, we can keep that. We got living quarters. The access lift is... Yeah, let's... Let's repair that. Okay, so what we want is one medical bay. Besides the living quarters. 
but even more important, satellite uplink and a mist repeller. And then I think one medical bay and that's about it. <clears throat> that would be our kind of standard normal um, plant where we do have, well, the fabrication, uh, fabrication plant is not normal. It's just adding, it's okay, it's good to have that. But the mystery repeller and the satellite uplink are the bare minimum. Um, medical bay plus living quarters, just so that you can land there and uh, get back up that that essentially those four buildings I would consider the bare minimum to make the base usable complete. and that's good I mean we would push back a lot of the mist uh, from up here like the idea of that the next one I think that we're opening would be here or here so that we get uh, the mist pushed back in North America. We still have an active Pandoran structure over there, which brings us to what our team will need to do. Helios 6 and 5. We'll go over there. TMA2 still requires a little bit more rest. And you guys soon will take care of the structure. Uh, that is actually a relatively important one. Where is Dilly G? So Dilly could, in fact, take this and have more damage. It does not have shred, but the shred so far hasn't been amazing. Okay, in terms of strength, I don't want him to slow down. Very good. So team number two, Kitsu, does have, finally has her arms and finally also have a turret. That's good. Team number three doesn't even have a technician. Oh, they do. Okay, cool. Uh, which, by the way, you might want to use the watcher here. Fortunately, we still can't uh, create ammunition. Good. Now, that was a bit of an upgrade tour for everyone. We had... Where's our last, our last technician for that team? I think team number four doesn't even have a technician at this point. Okay. Well, too bad. You guys don't know what you're missing out. Good. 
Okay, both of the teams are just resting for a moment. Trading here. They don't have anything to trade. And I think that was our go for the excavation. More probes, archaeological probes, we're plastering them all over. Just want to make sure we have most of the world covered. Because I'm still hoping that we will get more of these uh, resources. What's that new one here? The Oricalcum Forge. Well, that's yet another production site. Are you guys kidding me? Okay, we will we will need to go through that mission. That's going to be ultra hard. Yeah, but I'll f I'll find a way to go uh, through that. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership. If you feel like leaving a like down below, that's cool. If not, see you in two days. Bye bye.